abortion is a bad decision since you've made bad decisions it's best to tell your partner the kind of bad decisions and how many bad decisions you've made please take your bad decisions to the grave nobody cares about your decision you've made it take it tired and die with it that's why will you not be telling me that uh, done abortion nine times i have killed somebody nine times and you want to <laughs> accept you for it hey, by God, by God, please ah, just keep everything in the I, past why am i telling you why i, I didn't know you you didn't know me it was not for you so how, how would you feel if you get to hear that information from someone else. The world does not have how would you any fear. How would you feel? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, think there's one how thing. Would you if feel? there's one thing I've seen online is you know you just go online, you see comments like, okay, this particular person did this particular thing to this particular so person. Time. You see it, and the thing is, you might just be scrolling and you don't see your husband's name mm -hmm. there, and you be like, there's some things that should not even like some secret that should not be let out. You should just let it die. That's your past. I don't want to know. Would you tell your partner the number of abortions you've had? If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. Abortion is a bad decision. So, since you've made bad decisions, it's best to tell your partner the kind of bad decisions and how many bad decisions you've made. So, it just helps and it builds that trust. The fact that you're telling that partner already cements that status that, okay, you're ready to change or you've changed. Because, you know, it just shows that, okay, you're coming into this relationship with a transparent mind. Because telling your partner that you've aborted so-so and so number is huge. It's something big. So, for you to be able to just open up and say that kind of thing, it's, it's going to be like, you know, it's going to strengthen that kind of relationship. So, it's something I feel all partners should share. You know, their, their lows and their highs. And since abortion is one of, you know, one of the lowest low, so it's something you should share. So for me, I wouldn't want to build my marital relationship on lies. I would rather open up and tell my spouse that, okay, I had relationship with this number of persons and at some point I had to consent to aborting a child or numerous children, right? So, because I would appreciate it if she's also being sincere with me. I wouldn't want to end up marrying my spouse and finding out, you know, that she no. maybe lied to me about something or there's something she's keeping from me and she didn't let me know about it, right? I would feel pained, you know, and I also wouldn't hide anything from my spouse because I don't want her to hide anything from me. You know, do to others what you want others to do to you. Would the disagreeers please move forward? Please take your bad decision to the grave. Nobody cares about your decision. You've made it. Take it, carry it, and die with it. Because why will you not be telling me that uh, done abortion nine times? I have killed somebody nine times, and you want to <laughs> accept you for you. There's some there's some things that should not even like some secret that should not be let out. You should just let it die. Just yeah, that's your past. I don't want to know. Just because if you not tell me, okay, I should not be congratulating. Uh, uh, on my abortion yeah yeah, yeah i'm doing it <laughs> first one because of this one it gave me reason because there's always a reason yeah, to why you did the yeah. abortion say so the first one i was going to university that's why you killed the child uh, the second one i had one work third one i had visa so okay that means it might kill me one day now so i don't want to know just so, so how, how would you so. feel if you get to hear that information from someone else the world does not have how would you any feel? feel? How would you feel? Yeah. Yeah. See, you think there's one thing, there's one thing I've seen online is you know you just go online you see comments like okay this particular person did this particular thing to this particular so, so person time. you see it and the thing is you might just be scrolling and you don't see your husband's name mm -hmm. there and you be like different. We forget so. we're in a generation where a lot of us are not emotionally intelligent. I'm yeah. sorry, I, don't, I mean yeah, no disrespect, yeah, yeah, yeah. not to us, not to anybody online. We are not emotionally intelligent. We are very selfish, self-centered, very egoistic <laughs> generation. Yeah. I'm very yeah. judgmental, very, very yeah. self-righteous and judgmental. Like, I follow, I guess sometimes where I get my own for body. Because, and this is very, very annoying. So in a case where you want to be vulnerable yeah. and bring your, you know, your skeletons and your cockroaches yeah. outside, and be like, baby, you know, eh, 
I'm so sorry. The reason why we cannot have a child is because I carried out 156 hours for sure. Mm. I was one, I was in secondary school, I was in university, I was working, I was jumping, I was coming down. One, I flew down the stairs, I climbed the roof. The caterpillar that is inside the moon jumped down on my womb. And then I've said all of this. You would not look at me the same way. Yes. No. There was an innocence yes. about a person yeah. that made you look at her and be like, she's the moon to my to my cupid. She's the trigger to my tea. She's the this to my that. And you've already had an expectation of this person. And then you marry this person and find that she had to swim amount of abortion. Mm -hmm. You're not going to look at her. So I've seen, seen a killer instinct. You're you're seeing it in it. And, and, and in a case where it now happens that her so called life decisions are not going to make you guys not want to have told you might not even no matter how calm you claim to yeah. Yeah, like yeah. it is you would either go outside or you adopt That's either way thing. you're going to rub it on her face you might not never have a and it's as a result of that and it might be that you're impotent you, you, you will blame it on yes, her yeah. i think yeah. there's a reason why um behold the old has gone to be and the new has come let bygones be bygones, please. Ah, Just keep everything in the I, past. Why am I telling you? Why? I, I, I didn't know you. Yeah. You didn't know me. It was not for you. In front of so there's no lie as good yeah. as standing naked in the public not, market. We not tell you without you asking or without you yes. pressing. It's easier for a guy to acknowledge or to admit the amount of abortion he has paid for. Consent. But when you not talk of women, I am telling you, we guys, that is when even it might not even because of that reason but any small thing just like yeah yeah it's because of this yeah okay. yes. but, but i i for one will not advise you to voluntarily open Same up words. let me use your word now the amount of babies or people you mm. killed yeah how will you now say voluntarily no gun to your head no pressing nobody no, put not your head voluntarily. No, for, for, for my for my, for my type say, of person it's, right it's i i think if i have made a decision to go ahead with a lady i want to marry i'm expecting you to be sincere because if if i feel there's something you've done in the past and you know will make me want to shy away from getting married with you then i don't really want to settle with you and i for a person I will never haunt you with whatever you've opened up to me about. But so, that's you. and yeah, that's yeah. me. So, that's and, the yes. reason why. And, and like, no, you are like 1% out of it's, 9. It's so, it's really, I wouldn't. It's cause, just like that. And that's very poor. It's something that I feel every partner should ask. Should no, should you. ask. No, I would What's creep, the like, worst like, thing? How would a guy ask you that thing? kind of question? Hmm. Because it's simple. It's not, at you. It's not voluntarily. Mm. It's simple. What's the worst thing? These things we are saying, they are conversations that should normally be held. No, that's not saying. Say it before marriage. Before, really? And then you're in relationship with you, abortion. and then you just come up one day and say, "Baby, I want to ask you the number of babies." You no, like, no, I will be thinking that you want to say. Ima I'm imagine I had, imagine I, I impregnated the girl, the and she thing? ran away with my baby. I don't know her whereabouts, and I didn't tell my wife. So, so thing happened at so as, 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 at this point in time, different. and this That's girl, why we are married, case. it's not different. No, it's it's really. different case because it's that way she can also she can bring the child to you and say you are the father. Uh -uh. Yeah. But I'm not coming back to my house with which child. There's possibility that she can come back to say, okay, take care of your child. I don't have the capability to do so again. But this abortion stuff, it is gone. It is gone. Yeah. yeah. What, what if, if you were asked? asked? If you asked. If, wait, wait. Why would you ask that kind of me? question? No, no, see, hold on. Yes, hold on. Let me ask. Yes, us. okay. Let me ask. ask. Let me ask you. Okay. Let me ask you now. What's the worst thing you've done? I don't know. Let's just say you. have No, let's just say someone has aborted. Now, let's just say your partner has aborted, and you ask that partner, "What's the worst thing you've done?" What if abortion is not wait, the worst thing? That's I've done. what I want to say. Yeah. It's okay. What's what the worst thing? thing? <laughs> okay, see, what are the worst things? You know, mention the top ten worst things you've done. What if abortion is not the worst thing? Okay, I feel. I feel that the reason why I need to know. I need to ask such, quest such questions. It's so I can harm my mind. When anyone comes with information like that, right, outside, like maybe she has told me, I would be able to prepare my mind. When this person comes just to instigate me against my wife, young man, can you keep quiet? She has told me. I know about it. It's, it's That's the matter thing. between. What if I so feel I, like... Don't make me feel... Don't put me at, 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 at um, a point where... I'm now surprised. Imagine, I'm now wondering yeah, what, that, that what I will say. Imagine you're walking. You're what walking I will do? I mean, your best friend. Your best, your best friend knows about it, <laughs> so and you're married now. You didn't tell your husband. 
You didn't tell me as as, as your husband. I think that's your best family you had a fight. And Maybe it's, it's a dark past. It's something, something I've done. I'm not proud, proud of. of. Yeah. Something I want to bury. It's not I don't want to ever have to talk about. Say now. You don't understand. If you find out later, fine. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to bring it up again. I rather abort a child than put them through suffering. If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. I don't think that should even be a question. How would you want to give birth to someone that you don't know how to take care of or you don't even have the capability to take care of? You don't have the money, you don't even have the house, you don't have anything to take care of. Even child food is cost now. So honestly, I honestly think a baby shouldn't have a baby. A baby is not even about age. A 40 year old could still be considered as a child. It has to be with, it has to deal with your um, growth both um, financially, mentally, and otherwise, because you could be a child at 40 just giving birth to a child because you think you are old, and then not being able to cater for the child in the right way is bad. Are you really responsible and ready to father or mother a child? I, I, I think it takes a lot, so we should even go there. If I walk around, I see a lot of less privilege, and you know, and yeah. That sight alone is just disheartening. So imagine seeing your child in that state. So imagine seeing someone who came out of you in that kind of state, you know, because it's really going to mess your head. So it's better to avoid that kind of thing. If seeing someone else will put you off, you know, just having a good time and you're walking around and before you know it, you see someone on the road, you know, it just messes you. Just, you don't feel like you not only thank God that, okay, he has given you this chance, but you will feel, wow, do I really deserve it? Does this person deserve it more than I do? So it's better to just make sure that you just put an end to that kind of thing. If you're not ready, you're not ready. So you just bring forth something that you're ready to take care of and something that you can just you know, cater for. Because if you cannot carry yourself, you shouldn't bother carrying someone else. So it's best to just keep it slow like that yeah, it's good if you just about the child just you know kill the child it's the child they won't kill you because when you give birth to that child now you know you cannot even you have not yet set your life up you still have your dreams you still have and then you're not looking at this child like you you just stop all my dreams so just because of you now i'm supposed to be flying around the world doing shows and the rest well i'll about the child because certain reasons first i may not have the financial capability to take care of the child. So it's just me bringing the child into the world to come and suffer. So, and then let's look at another side now. The child could possibly stop some of my dreams because I'm no longer chasing my dreams now. I'm now fathering a child when I'm not yet ready to father this child. Let's say I have just um, like the kind of job I do now. I have to walk and move and then I now have to, it's not bringing me another responsibility of taking care of this child, come on. It's not your time, so you just wait till when I'm ready. So you you won't be angered <laughs> with the child, say, right? mm. you like what, what? So it's basically just at the initial stage, just remove it because even the girl said that yeah, people say you know for one married girl, and mm. then something that happened. You now the born child with somebody that will now keep you because if you are not dating the girl again, you're not co-parenting. The girl said you know more have feelings for the girl. You, you, every if you see the girl, they are you, you. So you, others now don't get better, like you get better for me. And then she just be traumatized. So it's best if you cannot pick up the child, just, you know, before the things start growing, just give them that pill. You are still under your parents' roof and it's always telling you children are blessing. Please, Boko Haram was not a child. <laughs> <laughs> so, <man. laughs> Having a child is, doesn't necessarily even mean monetary anything, whatever. You have to be mentally prepared for it yeah. so that you don't pass the pain that you must have gotten from your own parent child, onto that yeah. child. Sometimes you are not mentally prepared. And um, it is not only about, uh, let's say you have uh, financial, maybe maybe you have money or all of those things. It has to come from, even if you like the person already, because when that child comes into play, you, be, you have to deal with the mother and all of those attitude, all of those stress. You have to be mentally prepared. So that you don't you don't go out one day and have a bad day and you come and put it on the child and or the the mother. So you have to be mentally prepared and understand that this is a child. 
and um, I have to act like a father. The moment you have that uh, uh, that pregnancy, you are sent out of the house, and and oh. a lot of things now come into play. Now you now give birth to the child. The child uh, now needs maybe one one ear is not functioning well, or maybe both ears. And now you are not even in the right mental health to to understand that it is not easy or afford to have a deaf ears. And you're like, why you know ear what? You yeah, you we yeah. put that pressure, so that pain, issues. everything. You just you were so far for like the child have even suffered for I lose my parent, I lose and you still no one can hear what you get yeah. that kind of thing. So, Would the disagreeers please move forward? The thing is, if Afri African parents and the society were more accommodating about, would I say, having a baby out of wedlock, that's if a mom would just find out her daughter is pregnant and still living with her and still accommodate her without all of the trouble, the insults and dragons. I'm sure a lot of people consider having babies. I, for one, I love children. But... If I know, not if I know, I know that if I should get pregnant at this moment, my mom would drag me. She would do a lot of things to me. You don't want to know. My society, I'm from the North. Society and the awesome. Christian side of the North. So you know that's one thing about Northerners. If they are doing something, they used to do it very well today. There's how they do it that if you are covering up, you have to cover up. So imagine your parents are, my, my dad is an elder, my mom is a choir mistress. Then I get pregnant. You can imagine everything. So my mom will not want that shame on her. So she will put everything on me and I'll put it on the child too. So if it was more accommodating and acceptable, maybe I would consider. But for now, it's a no, no. I wouldn't ask my girlfriend to abort because okay. I, I believe, you know, well, this is my own personal belief. I believe that, you know, I would actually passed through that phase, right? It only came to pass. So I will not. No, seriously, I would, I would definitely, right? I would definitely pass through that phase. I won't. Yes, the child, in my opinion, like the child would suffer and all that. Well, I'm not using this as, as an excuse. Well, I know of people, countless, who have gone through hell while they were young and they ended up doing well when they grew up, right? The question said, will I actually create the baby and allow the baby so I pick it no go so far. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I was raised by a strong woman. So I know what it means to be a strong woman. I don't see that. I, in fact, sitting an idol just makes me sick. That's how my mom raised me. So with a, in a case where I have multiple experiences, expertise, and exposure, I have multiple handworks, and I, I know how to use the gift of men because I know they just sit down for us. I go come out. Mm -hmm. I meet people. We I know, make the connection, I make network. There's no how my child is going to suffer. I'm not, not an insecure woman. I'm a very secure woman. Like, I've, I've planned my life to the T. And I, I'm a very pessimistic person. I'm not really optimistic. So you know that I have thought about the negativity to the T. So I know that for one, let's say, what's me and my boyfriend doing? In our, and blind the baby. I'm one of them. I go just... And that's because I want to give her the respect. I don't want her to be disgraced. It could just be like, say, I'm picking this. Jiggers. But I know deep down, with every fiber of my being, I'll keep that child. So I want to know now, so, like, because you are saying, yes, you are strong and the rest. So let's just say you are outside the picture. It's not you. It's someone else. You and you know, know that outside. person yeah. is not strong. You know that person is dumb. You know that person does not have what it takes to survive just herself. And she wants to bring forth a child. Would yes. you advise her to bring forth that child? I think you said bring forth, not that the baby have come. The yeah. baby have not come, baby. No more, it's mm. abortion. Abortion, like the baby. <laughs> <is> <laughs> <in>. <laughs> like, like, she would found that she's, she's pregnant. Yes, would yeah. you advise her to abort? Would you or advise her to abort, abort or just... In all sincerity, I'd advise her to birth the baby and set it up for adoption. Many a times, we look at this abortion thing like it's the only way out. It's a disguise for a lifetime destruction. There's no how you do it. You're a woman. You were created to nurture, to raise, to love, to be kind. Like, see, a man if he do something, uh, lock in mind, move. Yeah. It's not shaking. It's not phased. <laughs> but a woman would lose a child, and even till the day you are 80, you would think back oh, and be wow. like, I wish yes. I kept that. Child. 
Yes. It might not, and you might have other yes. kids. Don't get me wrong. You might have kids. And they might be doing well. But you always miss that child. Or in a case where you give birth to this child, and set the child up for adoption, you can always go back and get your child. It is, you're talking about adoption. No we're talking about... You, you can go to a remote area where nobody knows you. Get we're talking see, about... Do you know you can be strong and still be suffering? I want to know. No, no, see, I, this I, thing I, is I, about mm -hmm. either you kill it or you suffer no, with I it. I want so to give you a point just now. Yeah. You said, you said about, uh, adoption mm -hmm. and, and you mentioned about being strong. I understand. I know. I, I'm not trying to like no, undermine your strength or whatever, yeah. but I strongly believe that when you're not faced with a particular um, you, situation, you don't judge it. You can't understand yes. it. The second thing that you mentioned is that you mentioned about uh, adoption. Now, let me now put it to use. If you are that child that the mother dropped, maybe mm. in a gutter or in front, and you mm. went through those, those, those phases, do you think it's easy? To live in a motherless home. It's not easy for anybody. It's not easy for the mother. It's not, and that's what they, they always advise for two people to raise kids. But in a situation where you already have this pregnancy, I cannot abort that child. It is one thing to commit one sin. It's another thing to commit an intentional sin. Like, this is not something that you did by mistake. A mistake is when you, you, mis you forget to take out the trash. Or you mistakenly spill stuff on your clothes. That's a mistake. So the sex wasn't a mistake to you. No, 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 no. You can actually say, oh, not a mistake. Maybe not error. Yeah, the kind of way you buy the wood. Yeah. Or maybe the pills were not calculated. Mm. Or the timing your day off was not. I, I feel understand saying a mistake. Or maybe your pull-out game was weak. I understand that mistake with the runner. But purposely taking my two left legs to the hospital. Excuse me, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm pregnant. I don't want to do this. Just take it out. A child that has the right to live. Would you marry someone with multiple abortion? If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. As long as that those abortions you've had does not stop you from having more children, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Because one of the main reasons why I want to marry is because I want kids. So, but if those, that past you've had does not limit you having more kids or and for sure if the past you've had does not you know now make the kids you know have complications like maybe they they come out with different defects as long as they are healthy as long as they are going to be healthy then i don't mind about that one i don't you know because abortions i feel they are bad bad decisions and everyone has had one bad decision at least even though that one is, is, is a great, when it comes to skill, it's greater than other bad decisions. But still, you've had that one. You've, you've done it. You've done it. It's the past. I want to know you. After you've, to, you've told me, yes, sure, sure, sure. We, we go for the fertility test and everything and they say you're, you're fine. Then I don't mind. It's the past. Coming from the opposite gender, maybe he, obviously, can marry a woman. So he paid for the abortion. As a woman that knows how it feels to be a woman, if I find out, I'm actually not going to be angry for the fact that you told me. I would want to know who the lady is and I literally just want us to go and apologize to her. Yes, even if the um, lady is dead, we would still have to go and restitute because I'm a big fan of forgiveness and mercy and transparency. And if we've come to that point where you've shared such vital information and you've come out to be that vulnerable, I think we should follow it procedurally to the later, like to the T. So even if she's dead, we would find her family, rescue with her family, because there's no family that's going to be happy that their child died from an abortion, even if it was consensual. A lady that has committed several abortions for you, you not leave her. You're not going to marry another person. Talk true. Sure you will swear for him, maybe you don't swear for him. It's fact. So you're going to have maybe hard grudges or yeah. something, or there's just not going to be peace. And for you to bring that to me, you will not be happy to say it. You'll be saying it in a state of either remorse or restitution. Like I said, some things are just good to be left in the past. Because, like you said, everybody has a bad, I'll be a dark past or so. So it happened in the past. Why would I judge you for it now? Exactly. I'm sure you had your reasons. Even for the but... Yeah, but I'm sure that you definitely had your reasons. And 
I for one, for me to pick you to marry you, you must be a sensible person, honestly. I can't just pick anybody. So if I pick you to marry you, abortion shouldn't be the case. So for me, I think I, I wouldn't have any problem with that. If my spouse is open up to me that we have had abortions, well, I, I don't plan to marry someone who's not a Christian. So I definitely know that since you're opening up, that's part of your past. So I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. And if she's not yeah. able to have children? I, no, I don't mind. Even if the lady has had above 7, 27 abortions, I don't mind. I'll still go ahead with the marriage. Because I'm convinced, you know, that this uh, is my wife. This is who I want to spend the rest of my life with. And her past should not, you know, make me begin to have a change of mind. You know, just because you told me you've had numerous abortions, I should now change my mind. I'm not religious. Uh, well, I'm spiritual. I want to go ahead with a person who I'm not convinced. God is not giving me a prompt that this is the person I want to spend. And I discovered that she has probably complications based on the fact that she has aborted. I'll go through it with her. Would the disagreeers please move forward? This is something like you should keep to yourself and at the end of the day I'm knowing it and I'm this kind of person that is judgmental so if I know it I definitely do not want to be with you and you know I'm a girl so for a guy that has paid for uh, a lady's abortion why did you leave her? Like you went through all these things together and you left her so there is still possibility that no matter what I do, you can still leave me, be it marriage or anything. So what so if the lady left him? That's a different case. If the lady, even if the lady left herself, you will still leave him. I mean, if she left him for a good reason, then yes. But if she left him because, let's say, he was proving nonchalant and everything, then I think it's still <laughs> his fault. For you to look at somebody. And say, excuse me, me and you is together forever till mm. we die for better. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think you people don't understand the to, for better for worse. I didn't look at your past. You to tolerate. No, no, no. That's what, what I'm saying. saying now, Marriage is showing. about the whole baggage. Mm -hmm. I don't, That's why like, I don't want to whatever it is, part. And the baggage is what who you are, who you yeah. were, who you yes. are, who you are going to be, yes. who your family is. Yes. Like, you're, you're getting married to the entirety of it. When Jesus said he's marrying the church, he's marrying the church with the entirety of us. He's not marrying sorry, the same. Sorry. I think the question says, <laughs> That's it. can you marry? Isn't it? Like, yes. Can you marry? Not you are in the marriage. Not you are. But Ex well, I'm a guy. I specifically hear multiple. I want to be hearing multiple. But you can pay for multiple. multiple. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Mm. I, I haven't even paid for multiple. Why would I pay for multiple? How many have you paid? Uh, uh, come uh, on. Come <laughs> so I'm only saying, like, multiple. Why are you competing with Hitler? Who are you competing with? How many people have you slept with? You understand? Six six from the What I understand about life is that when you when you do something once is a mistake. When you do it second time is a decision. And when you not do it after then, is that is that an habit? You understand? So you can't come to me and tell me and tell me, oh. My past is in the past. I've had 26 abortions. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've killed more than the disciples <laughs> in the Bible. I find, oh. find out that, Come on. you know, this person <laughs> has aborted, Come on. right? I don't have a problem with it. Because I'm not judging you based on your past. See, there are some kind of past that will let go. Do you understand? Yes. But not when you come and tell me that they have actually taken out 26 babies or 10 babies. So do you believe in love? He <laughs> said, do I believe in love? Yes. Yes, I do believe in love, but I have human love, not Jesus' love. Let me make you understand something. If human love was enough to wash away our sins, John the Baptist will have done that job. Perfect. Do you Perfectly. understand? Perfectly. So now, now let's leave religion. Now you're not telling me love is enough. Love is enough. Why are you working? Why are you not saying love should provide? You understand? So if, if love is not enough, Love will not cover me to overlook the fact that you've killed more than 10 people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the okay, fact that seven, <laughs> the seventh command like, like, that shall not kill. That shall not okay. kill. You did 10 abortions and you don't know inside that 10 abortions, five, maybe two. <laughs> no, you might even know about the fact that you can do <laughs> that's, that's how many two. like that. See, even, even some people are afraid of 
uh, injection. For you, you come down. Open those two legs. They remove one, two, three. How many be no, your no, eggs? No, okay. So, two. Yeah, what, what if it's just four? four? Just four. Yes. Deal breaker. Deal breaker still. What is just? Just four. <laughs> you might say, okay, well, it's a mistake. But when you do something second time, something has changed in you. Yes. You are now used to that thing. Mm. Now, two, time. three, four. four. They have been already. Wait, let's look at this thing from a very clear point of view. We all know love is blind, number one. And then for people or a person that you're truly in love with, you can move mountains for this person. Mm. Okay. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And let's not forget the fact that men can be very manipulative mm. and gaslighting and very narcissistic in nature. Is, and I'm not trying to... not. Let me not generalize, but you know the majority. Yes. You don't understand what I'm saying. I the majority. It's not... And it's like, oh, baby, don't worry. It's just this one time. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Why it's just this one time. Don't worry. I'm not ready now. We're not ready for the baby. I don't have money. I can't take care of you. I can't. The mom said, don't worry. We'll come back. So say, our resources is not enough. We're not eating well. You, she'll do that one. One. Do it the the second one. time. Until she finds out that you're trying to marry a village girl that your mother brought for you. Mm -hmm. That's a virgin. Mm -hmm. But she has committed for abortions. Mm -hmm. I feel my own standard is husbands Pastor, love you your wife. They are not as Christ they loves you. Don't marry. No, if I if I am I having an intention to marry you, then I love. You. I don't. It's not until I get into marriage that I will start no, loving no, no. you now. I will only have the intention to marry you if I have known that you don't have any issue of. Oh, uh, sorry, no, sorry. we're talking about this abortion, like as if as if it's malaria. That can, <laughs> come on, you 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 do <laughs> something repeatedly. Unprotected sex. One, uh -huh. two, three, four. Whose life is more important, that of the child or the mother? If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. Um, in terms of marriage, uh, is the mother. Because you, you were the one I got married to, not the child. And I don't even know if the child will have a bright future, sorry <laughs> to say. But I believe it's the mother because you, you were the one you, she was the one you made covenant with. She was the one you signed certificates <laughs> with and everything. Okay, so for me, if I, I find myself in a situation where I have to, have to choose between the life of my wife or my child, I think I'll go with my wife because you can still reproduce, mm. right? It's not a silver, that's the last child you, you have in this life. Yeah. So I wouldn't risk the life of my wife because a baby is coming. Mm. I would rather have them save my wife. For me personally, I would choose my mom over everything. Like, I would, I'd literally give my blood and soul for my mother. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. Like, I don't know how to explain. Like, when I say it, people think I'm possessed or something. But like, considering the kind of sacrifices my mother has done, because I'm a very problematic child. Miss Efano, now me be black sheep of the family. So for her to actually stand her foot, and actually like go through all the stuff that she has gone through. I'll choose motherhood over any child. I'm very sorry to all the children out there and all the beautiful babies that were born today, <laughs> but motherhood over everything. And please, excuse me, sir, if my husband mistakenly got to choose the child before me, I swear to Would the disagreeers please move forward? First of all, no, the question said child or mother. The question did not say, Eat us or mother. Because all of you have been saying eat, eat, eat. Because the question is ambiguous. It said child. You don't know how old the child is. And the thing is, if I was in that situation, <laughs> if there's a burning building here and I'm to save one person, I will save the child over myself. Okay. And I will expect the mother to, to do the same. It's, 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 it's fact. It's the same mother. thing. My mm. own is this. If I'm to choose between the child and the mother, the same way I will choose the child over myself, in the same way I'll choose the child over the mother. I'm going to choose the child because if the rules were flipped and if my life would be at stake for the child's survival, I would prefer my wife chooses the child over me. So that's the reason. Because, you know, I just feel the fact that we've created something here, we've created something beyond the normal because this is not something science can create. This is something only God can create. The child is not just one person it's a blend of two myself and the mother and that child alone you know it embodies both of us both of our ideals if it seems unfair for only the mother to go if it's possible <laughs> for both of us to go just for the child to survive i would also consider that. Make more, so you have the opinion that you can get a new wife 
No. Uh-uh. What if the child what dies? What if the child dies? What if the child dies? We are not talking dies. about what happens after the mother dies. We are just talking okay. about if the child leaves. Yeah. So what is the thought process about, behind choosing see, the child over the mother? Single it's father. the same thing I would do if it was in my situation. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying if I'm the mother here yeah, or whatever. It's the same thing. I'm surprised that a lot of you know, women because you guys. I think you guys should have watched. See, I don't want to bring movies into it, but because because you should have watched a lot of movies. This is I reality. And see, there are, this is movies, I would understand movies are reflections of yes, reality. I feel reality is you can paint your own reality. Do you know that? Yeah, I, I, and I think our reality is by what we hear and what we see. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. If you have seen a movie that tells you you have to choose your child, your mother's love. I haven't seen it, and I don't care. But I'm telling you right now that if at bed and there's a complication, and a child is holding on to my wife's life, I will cut that hand off. This that's my partner. <laughs> this Do you understand? No, actually, actually, actually. I, will, I, will, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. When, when the doctor brings the, the, the waiver for me to sign, I am telling you, if they don't, if they don't have a biro, I will stab myself and use blood to sign. No, the thing you is, don't understand. It's just <laughs> your partner. It's seeming Please like don't let your it's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it looks like it's, it's very easy. Because no. I don't think you understand. He, you understand the law of a child. Oh, yes. That's the thing. You're, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just writing it out. I understand yes, I mean, that just, I that's the thing. You cannot give birth to that child. I understand. What about your wife? You cannot give birth to that child. Another type of your wife. The thing is, I can, I can actually, you know, see my wife in that child. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That ah. My child is a blend of my wife and myself. Every decision in marriage or when it comes to children or, you know, partnership, has to do with me and you talking about it and then we come to a final mm-hmm. conclusion, yeah? So if, in a case, you and your wife talk about it and you explain to her that this is what is at stake and it's either you or the child and she's like, let's go with the child. I can understand that your wife clearly said, I want you to keep the child. But in a case where you do not for the wife and discuss it, you know, you do better than one or two. You now decide that you want to kill the wife. No, let me... Let me that you paid the bride let me, price. Let me, mm. even, let me even now tell you now, Chief. Even if the wife says no, I will agree, no wala. But if I go out, I will warn the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> if something happens to my wife, I will just be You know, yeah. see, wait, 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 wait. You are talking of the love of the child. The person you know. went to take that, that lady from their house and promised you are going to take protect, care, right? yeah. care for, cater for, and be a father to her don't you feel like that person is like a is like a child to you even i've seen situations where they say women are like babies you have to you know be pampa. patient with them you have to be pampa you are not telling me now that you want to choose someone you don't know over someone you already know <laughs> if any child wants to come to into this world and do you understand let the so-called child come freely just the way i and my wife came freely <laughs> Don't but come and send my own wife back. I don't replace it. No, I won't take that shit from you. No matter where you're coming from. See, okay. it's, it's usually easier for for the couple to handle it after the child is gone. Yes. Yeah. Then let's assume now your wife leaves and then leaves the baby with the man. It's hard for him to cope. Then How will you the child to cope? I don't think that's the So you're now bringing a strange woman to raise my child, no. sleep with my husband, and eat no, where I, she I don't so, Except you're a useless yeah. husband or See. a useless wife. Hey, hey, I'll pick my child over you. A baby is very precious. Then, it, you you both created it. the child. So it's not <laughs> fair. I think, <laughs> honestly, it's not fair to refer to it as it or someone you've not met before. Just and I understand why you say you pick a baby, right? Honestly. Because a child is innocent at the end of the day. This baby did not even want to come to you. You guys invited him or her. Yeah. Because of your invitation, this baby decided to come. So now this child is, is, is not even the reason. This child doesn't want to kill its mom on purpose yeah. or intentionally. This child doesn't want to kill, doesn't want to harm anybody. But that's the situation at hand. I'm not trying to say you should choose the baby. I'm just trying to explain, Why I think, what he's trying to say, the love of a child. Mostly a mother. If you were on that bed, God forbid, you were on that bed and you were to choose between yourself and the... Uh, Baby, believe me, you would choose the baby. I have never had unprotected sex. If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. I've never even had sex before. Same here. 
I've, I made a covenant. I, no, I'm not covenant. I made a promise to myself that I'll keep myself to marriage. And that's fact. Okay. I don't think I've made any promise to myself or keep myself from marriage, like she said. It's just what it is. And um, unprotected sex is not good. It's risky for <coughs> your health. Um, okay, so for me personally, <coughs> sex is an exchange of a lot of things. And I understood that at a very young age because we're very medically inclined. Um, so, and by privilege of this, I already understood that there are medical, you know, availabilities to prevent all of this with your pills, family planning, condom, and the rest. So why give yourself the extra baggage? Just use them. They're available. Buy them. Use them. Would the disagreeers please move forward? The truth is that this thing is nature. The same way you can't control when you pee, you can't control that. It's just, it's just that you have those condoms available around for those yeah. times that you can't have control over. So you, you, you don't tell me when that condom finishes and, and your partner is in need of that thing. They deny your partner just because there's no lactase. You can't use nylon. You can't. It's still the same lactase that you want to. So we now say no. When you know this is the only person I have sex with, and there's a level of trust with it. Except you are going around having sex with different people, then you can say you are carrying. Even in some marriages, when the husband or wife sees the other one with a condom lactase, the suspicion arises, and they be like. We yes. don't use this shit. Why is this thing here? So even the lactase that we're talking about is not foolproof. Things can still happen. So whether you have unprotected sex or you have protected sex, you are both having sex. The scene is there. Hundred. Okay, let me ask you a question. When before you enter a relationship, you have like um babe. Before I know I like you, I really want to date you, you know, I'm into you and all, but <laughs> let's go and do a medical test report. Can I play you are not clean? This thing cannot work. Is uh, that what you guys okay. do? So I don't go it outrightly like that because not not everyone will. Mm. But this is not what I, everyone this is will. not what everyone will understand. Mm. But this is what I do. First, I don't just go to any other person. I I take my time, I observe, I don't jump at anyone. Okay, I, so to be with you at this point. No, 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 relax. When I say I observe, is that I look at how the person talks, how the person behaves. I For can, sexual no, transmitted disease. Eh, wait, wait, even before I we want to have sex with you, I don't go around doing... No, no, you said you would look, look at the face, face the way the person talks. You said when I'm talking to a babe. Like you, you want to get... You're, you want to enter a relationship with this person. You a know that you can't sleep around, right? Saying. And you said you you would have to do a medical like medical test checkup, right? So I, I'm asking, do you do that with every, every girl, girl that you've been with? Saying every girl like uh, every girl that you have dated. dated. Every girl that I've dated, maybe first time moment happen, and um, when when that happened, we use condom and. As the time Sorry. goes on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. As the time goes on in a relationship, when you understand, when we both have this this commitment in it, and we understand that okay, this is a relationship. Okay. I, I go as far as knowing is or agenda type. I will advise anyone to check is or agenda type of their partner. That is me. I go as far as trying to know the agenda type. That's the best way Okay. then know about their STI. You get them, that's, yeah. that's it. So I, I go as far as doing checkup like that. Because even if you are working in, a, in an organization, you do checkup, I think I do it uh, every two months for other things and so. So if you can do that for a job, why not do it in a relationship? One night stand happens, but you, you do that with your condom. You don't, I don't advise you risk your life because of congee. We guys, we understand that this this thing down there has a brain of its own. But then you, this is where you have to be a man and counter it with one up here. So you don't do one night stand. You don't do uh, unprotected sex with just any other person. But I tell you, if you want unprotected sex, if you want to actually feel what it, what we say raw, 
you have to fill it with someone that that is worth it let me put it like that way and also with someone that you can at least have a little bit of rest of my like okay. okay i'm doing this with this person if something happens i get person why i feel old you understand mm -hmm. not like ah um, i don't get here can you be sure can you be so so it has to happen for you to Look for somebody that you have to No, hold. you don't you understand. understand. I that means you have to have a risk. That's to happen. Oh, you don't get my point. I'm saying <laughs> if eventually maybe something now happens, you Why can easily it? pick out the person. You want to have it, have it with someone like a partner, like someone that you you have a trusted relationship with. I understand where you're coming from. Like I have like a family of medical practitioners around. I know that it cannot only be the like maybe the person slept to somebody else. Mm. For ladies, they can have like a fluctuation in the pH of their mm. vagina. Uh, it could be like toilet. It could just be like the humidity, the weather. Something can just fluctuate. Yeah. And then bacteria are just mixing up and just doing stuff. And you can actually never be too careful. Okay, now. Considering the kind of men that we have okay, in oh, this oh, generation. Oh, 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 <laughs> for me, I have had unprotected sex, right? Good. And I'm not proud of it at all. Right. I'm of the opinion that you should not have sex with a guy or a lady you've not married. Right? I'm of that opinion. I've done it before right. and I just wanted to do it. I didn't even mind whether she would have anything, any disease or whatever. I just that's that that's that, right? And I'm of the opinion that a guy does not have the right to your body. A lady does not have the right to your body. Who you are not married to, legally married to, right? And I have a very high level of respect for those who have decided to keep themselves to marriage, right? Every guy has their own opinion, and that's for me. I have a very high level of respect for ladies and guys that have decided that for me, I'm going to keep myself. And I'm also not condemning those who have done it before, right? Um, I don't go about it because if you had sex with a guy, I'm looking at you. No, I don't do that, right? Because I've done it before, and I know I was really, would I say, I just cared less wanted to do what I've, I've got to do so but now i have the understanding that it does not even make sense you know it's just so don't like think about yourself alone. That's what you're trying to say. well That's it is sense. with the way our generation is imagine just here now someone is saying you know have sex and a person will want to feel like are you sure you're a human being you're, you're living in this world oh. right it should actually be something normal like you yeah. decided it should not be something you have to laugh at laugh at someone about that uh, okay but, uh, but do you know that sex. marriage is failed due to lack of sexual com uh, compatibility Bro, do you i may have uh, a version of the way i want my girl maybe i like doggy style now and then i want my wife to be able to do that and then she comes and she's very boring every time she's i do like, the same please that's i have a very strong she doesn't know what to learn she says she cannot act Bro, do you know that get yeah. married to who you've done it before uh, excuse me yeah, please. No, we have to do excuse before me marriage Bro, do you know that have you do it before have you gotten married to all of those ladies you've slept with so do you know that <laughs> based on what he's saying when you come into the marriage neutral you explore together as couples right you don't have issues with uh, i like doggy I like uh, German style, I like well, uh, right? The bottom line is, don't even go into it. It's not proper. Yes. I'm not really supporting and I'm not against it. But I think what I want to say is, there's a reason why God said um, sex is for married people. Yeah. Now, he's not against sex as an act. No, of course, That's he's not. Thing I of know. course. He's not against sex. But why he doesn't want us to have sex before marriage yeah. is because he knows we can't keep to one partner. Now, sex is exchanging of souls. Yeah. A lot of things. Emotions. Now, you can get cursed. Are we really you can going get blessed to the through sex, part? right? If he's condemning sex before marriage, it's because he knows this guy, the these ladies, cannot speak. Yes, mm -hmm. cannot speak to one person. So, do I keep exchanging souls with a lot of people before I get married? And it Sorry. even Sorry. Affects, Sorry. It affects the person that's involved. Sorry. Your husband so can no longer I, satisfy I, you, yes, or your I'm wife can no longer satisfy you. Quickly, All of those uh, things I've gathered from other people. Uh, you said something and you said that uh, it's mainly for married people because you can't keep to. You are saying it based on the fact that maybe you're Christian. That's the thing. Are we Muslim, looking at this as a Muslim? From you have the, the right to one. Morally speaking, you have morally right speaking, morally speaking, outside marriage. Yeah. Are you even you can't morally speaking, religiously outside speaking, outside marriage, you know, religious marriage, all religion. Wait, 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 so when I'm married to before marriage, one, two, I believe three, so. Have the right you believe so. Married, you know, to have sex with. After you must have married them. Yes, you have the right to their body. But without marriage, you don't have any right to their body. Okay, now you said you said you've not had sex before. Yes, I have not. Okay, do you? know if you have a high sexual libido or not 
No, you don't know. It. You have sex, and then me having a high sexual drive. Now marry you that have low sexual drive. I have to go outside to satisfy myself. So it's you, you are the no problem, face. not her. Yes, I am. No, she's not the problem. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, really. Wait. She has. She's I'm not the problem. Not you are. No, she is the right thing. The same way. I am not condemning you that you're a virgin. Yeah. Don't come at me or don't tell me it is wrong. You made a statement. Let, yeah. me, let me rephrase what you said. You said you don't judge, but I heard both of you outrightly stating that having sex before marriage is wrong. Yes, it is. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, you telling me it's wrong is means you are condemning, condemning me. You. You're telling me it's wrong. The same way you have the right to tell me it's wrong, I have but the same right to tell you, come on, if you have not asked, well, how are you going to know? Sex before marriage, though. We're talking uh, about hey, so no, no, that's what I'm saying. Sex. If it was in the 1980s, the mm. 1970s, the mm. 1960s, no law there. when there was no exposure, because the level of things that we know now, our parents don't mm. know it. Okay. The sex styles that are in your head, you've not practiced them all. Mm. Oh, your papa no fee no one.